Hello again, my name is Pete Knight. In this video we're going to look at the Z-Rig. The Z-Rig is just a common name given to a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system. We can use these for tensioning Tyrolians or we can use them for hauling people up pitches. We're going to focus on their use in a haul and we're going to look at some of the different ways we can build these systems up and some of the different bits of kit that we can use. All of these examples show a Petzl rig being used as the belay device. Now it's not the most efficient device out there for hauling, but it's the bit of kit that we're likely to be using for lowering or lifelining people underground. Now how you set your Zed rig up is going to depend largely on what equipment you've got available and what situation you're dealing with. Have you got a cave already on the rope or are they on the floor and you're putting this system in place because they're going to need assistance to get up? The simplest system that we can use just involves one carabiner. We drop a loop down and if the person's at the bottom or they're halfway up the pitch but fully conscious, they can clip themselves onto their own attachment point and you can raise them. Okay, you can see the three strands of rope supporting the load, hence why it's a three to one theoretical mechanical advantage. Very, very quick to reverse as long as you can get the carabiner off their attachment point or your rope is at least three times the length of the drop. Okay, once you've popped the carabiner off, you can snap straight back into going down if you suddenly have to reverse the system. This is the simplest of all the Z-Rigs, it just requires one carabiner and a conscious casualty. Yeah, It's not the most advantageous system because you're just dragging the rope around a carabiner, not a pulley, but it's absolutely the simplest. If you do have a pulley, you just add it to the carabiner where you send that loop of rope down and again, conscious casualty, either mid-pitch you can clip themselves on or at the bottom of the pitch. There you go. Exactly the same setup, but with the addition of that pulley, you just get a lot more efficiency in your system. Both of those methods rely on you being able to reach the casualty or for them to be conscious and likely to remain so. Other than that, very little kit required, very simple Z-Rig. So if an incident occurs with somebody already on the rope part way up the pitch, then you won't have the chance to lower a carabiner down to them. So what you're going to need is a rope clamp there, either a tooth jammer, potentially even a prusik or a shunt, something to attach on there. Other than that, your carabiner again, you've just created the same Z system, three to one there. You'll have to just keep resetting this every time you need to raise them a bit. Just make sure you keep that jammer in reach so that if you do need to reverse the system, you can still take it off. Like the previous method, if you have access to a pulley, add it to the carabiner where that loop of rope goes down and you'll see a massive increase in efficiency of the system as well. The Z-Rig is only a theoretical 3 to 1. Every time the rope takes a bend or passes over a surface, there is friction in the system. Everywhere you can stick a pulley in, it just means that more of your effort is going into the lift, okay? Just going back to this reversible principle, it's really important if you're hauling an injured person up and they suddenly deteriorate or go unconscious, you really need to get them on the solid ground very, very quick. And sometimes that's just lowering them back down again. So whatever system you build, it should be reversible as quickly as possible. Another thing I want to talk about was changing the direction of pull. I've only demonstrated pulling up on these systems for clarity, but that can be really awkward if you're on a hanging traverse or just small ledges or you've just got a bad back. Um, so if you can redirect that rope up above you using carabiner or carabiner pulley and you can pull down well then you can really get your body weight involved it's an easier angle to pull the rope you can squat you can even attach the rope to your harness if you're wearing an SRT harness you can snap your crawl on there and just sit down and fully counterbalance people it doesn't add any mechanical advantage at all in fact if you just run it through another carabiner up high it is making it less advantageous but because you're pulling on it in a much easier way, more ergonomic way, you can get your body weight really into it. And it does make things easier sometimes. So just want to be aware of. And again, if you've got a pulley you can put in on that high attachment, all the better. So uh, Z-Rigs, they come in all shapes and sizes, lots of different bits of gear, pulleys, no pulleys. You know, they all work. Um, when you can put pulleys into a system, it just makes it more efficient. Um, in theory, a Z-Rig is a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage system. That means it multiplies your effort by 3 times, or takes the load that you're lifting and re reduces it down to a third of its weight effectively. Um, now, in theory, that's fine, but it doesn't really work at all in the real world. Um, every time a rope goes around a surface, be that a really efficient pulley, or just a carabiner, or through your belay device, uh, there's friction and friction takes away your effort so none of these three to one systems are actually really three to one um, the closest we like to get is more like two or maybe 2.5 to one if you're using highly efficient pulleys and you've replaced the rig with something like a protraction um, perhaps going into 
the differences between theoretical mechanical advantage and actual mechanical advantage is probably the topic for another video really um, but you know not all three to one systems are equal a Z rig could be built using just carabiners and just pulleys it will work but they will be different one will require more effort than the other and the more pulleys you can put in place the easier it's going to be so if you're a very very light person working with very very heavy people um, then buy some bigger pulleys if you're very heavy very strong uh, working with with young people small people then you probably get away with just using carabiners um, really we should be carrying everything on us that we need to affect any kind of rescue that we're likely to need um, so that means just because you're big and heavy not bothering to carry any pulleys you know you still want those with you but when something happens you need to react uh, with a bit of practice and judgment you'll know whether you need to go straight into using pulleys or whether you could just affect a very simple quick lift using carabiners um, the other thing we need to think about uh, while we're talking about hauling systems is when do we haul, when do we self rescue and when do we leave it for the professionals, uh, for the rescue teams to deal with. Um, we really should only be lifting people out in a self rescue if their condition, their situation isn't going to deteriorate. Uh, hauling people up and out just to snatch them off a pitch when they've pulled the shoulder or something like that, no problem, very very straightforward. But if someone's passed out at the bottom of a pitch, the last thing you really want to be doing is sticking them on a rope and then pulling them back up that pitch, getting them off the rope, onto the traverse and away from the pitch head, and then potentially repeating that a number of times. If that person's really unconscious, really needs medical help, then actually you really should have gone for cave rescue by that point. Uh, when we're dealing with hauls on the ground, we're really just reacting very quickly to problems on the rope, getting someone to a position of safety. So never underestimate lowering people down. If someone really needs to get off the rope quickly, um, then maybe sending them down to the floor um, is the safest and the most efficient way of doing that. Providing there's something down there that isn't going to kill them, like the bottom of your cave is going into flood. Okay, If they're very, very close to the top, a very long pitch, then yeah, it makes sense to finish kind of getting them back up onto the top. But if they're you know 10 metres down, but only 2 metres off the floor, just lower them back down again. You might even be able to rig something more efficient than using a protraction or a higher mechanical advantage system. Anyway, probably some subjects there for other videos to follow this up, but hopefully that's been useful to you. So just remember your Z-Rig, it's just the rope taking a Z-Path, and you can build it with just carabiners or pulleys, but the more pulleys you get in there, the more efficient the system becomes, and the easier it is to lift heavier people. Okay? Well, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.